Prince Charles's cringeworthy phone call with Camilla Parker Bowles was exposed through the British tabloids, the Crown is sometimes accused of overly sensationalizing the real-life stories of the royal family, but there's one famous moment from the 80s that even series writer Peter Morgan chose to steer clear of. There's not enough to definitely say, yes it is not enough to definitely say no it isn't. Had Morgan dreamt up the storyline and dialogue of Prince Charles telling his then mistress, Camilla Parker Bowles, that he wished he could be reincarnated as a tampon so he could live inside her, the audience would have surely deemed it crass and too far-fetched. All aspects of voice are imitable. But, but, as we've often found out by running to Wikipedia at the end of each episode, the truth is much stranger than fiction. That changed. The press office told ITN, Part of the tape we've listened to does not provide conclusive evidence as to the identity of And, absolutely mortifying to all involved, Tampingate was one bloody scandal that rocked British society in January 1993. The press had an absolute field day when, just three months after Charles and Princess Diana had formally separated, a full transcript of a sexy telephone call between Charles and Camilla in 1989 was printed in the People newspaper. Under a headline Charles and Camilla the tape, the explicit six-minute phone call went into excruciating detail as the long-time lovers fantasized about being intimate with each other. Even worse, there was full audio to accompany it, thanks to a rogue radio enthusiast who had stumbled upon the chat using a high-tech scanning device. Thirty years on, their conversation is still body-shudderingly cringeful. Early on in the call, the couple both married to other people at the time, dabbled in double entons, before going full on raunch. Charles. Oh, stop. I want to feel my way along you, all over you and up and down you and in and out, Camilla. Oh. Charles. Particularly in and out. Camilla. Oh, that's just what I need at the moment. Charles. Is it? Then in an idea that they probably both still wake up in a cold sweat about even now they went even deeper. Charles. Oh, God. I'll just live inside your trousers or something. It would be much easier. Camilla. Laughing, what are you going to turn into, a pair of knickers? Both laugh. Oh, you're going to come back as a pair of knickers. Charles. Or, God forbid, a Tampax. Just my luck. Laughs, Camilla. You are a complete idiot. Laughs, oh, what a wonderful idea then the conversations veers off into more the sort of chat you'd expect from an older couple, as they discuss the quickest way to get to Bode, a suggested meeting place Charles. Me on. <laughs> and I suppose in love. Of course. <laughs> Whatever in love means. According to Princess Diana's former personal protection officer, Ken Warf, in his book Guarding Diana, protecting the princess around the world. The backlash was savage. Establishment figures normally loyal to the future king and country were appalled, and some questioned the prince's suitability to rule. It once again highlighted the royal family's obsession with appearances and reputation, with the opinion that Charles had brought shame on the family. Even Diana, who had known of her ex-husband's transgressions with Camilla since before her wedding, was said to have been genuinely shocked and said repeatedly about the tampon comment. It's just sick, according to Worf. The Crown has not pulled any punches in avoiding controversial royal history in Series 4. Thank you. I'm sorry, we haven't missed. We have. I was in costume at the time. Sarah Spencer's younger sister. Uh, the mad tree. Diana. <laughs> Choosing to focus on the Queen's disabled cousins abandoned by the royal family, Diana's bulimia and of course, Charles's ongoing affair with Camilla and the cruel mistreatment of his young wife. But it seems we've got Josh O'Connor who plays Prince Charles to blame for this particular salacious part of royal history, not making it to the small screen. In fact, O'Connor told Siriusks that he practically made it a condition of his contract that he wouldn't be forced to act in a reconstruction of Tampingate. Well, uh, did you have to, like, go there with the dialogue? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> 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 when they offered me their role, the first, my, one of my first questions was, um, or I think I say questions, I think it was pretty much a statement, was, we are not doing the tampon phone call. Um, <laughs> he added, all the fans of Tampingate will be very disappointed. But Charles and Camilla are breathing a huge sigh of relief at Highgrove. And this is my one chance for my parents to see something with no shame. 
And there's no way that I was going to scupper that by talking about pat tampons on Netflix. Hope you liked that video and if you haven't subscribed this channel, do subscribe it and we will see you in the next video.